Hey guys, this is Julius from Spectrum Topics, and uh, today we have a video, uh, I I'm making this video about the rumors for Fallout 4. Uh, Fallout is my favorite franchise. Uh, I've been I've played Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas for each of them over 150 hours, and you know, something scary like that. Um, but it, it's my favorite gaming franchise, I love it, I love everything about it, I know everything about it. Um, I follow it very closely, and lately there's been some rumors uh, coming out surrounding the next Fallout iteration. Uh, so I want to make this video just talking about some of that stuff. Um, so back in 2006, when Bethesda bought the rights to Fallout from Interplay Studios, they bought uh, they bought the uh, Fallout license and uh, have the rights to make three Fallout games. Uh, now, they said they can make Fallout 3, Fallout 4, Fallout 5. Now, what we, we know they made Fallout 3, uh, and they made Fallout New Vegas, but w I don't know necessarily if that that's their Fallout 4, if that counts for f you know, their, f their second Fallout game that they uh, have you know, been copyrighted for, or been you know, licensed for. Uh, so this could either be their second official Fallout game or their last one until they, you know, probably pick up more uh, licenses for Fallout. Um, so we know that they have bought the rights because they, they have full intention to make uh, as many Fallout games as, they, as possible. Um, so after Fallout in 2009, Fallout 3 launched and they're making DLC for it. Todd Howard, the lead designer at uh, Bethesda uh, Game Studios, said that they plan to uh, have the n another Fallout game out in at least 10 years. So that puts it at 2018. Now that's at the far end of the spectrum, so don't be worried about that. Uh, but what that actually says is that they have plans and they are working on the next Fallout game. Uh, so I'm sh that was in probably pre-production at that point. Because they were, getting, they were doing full-fledged work on... Um, Skyrim. Uh, so, what they did in the past is they did Oblivion 2006. Two years later, they made Fallout 3. Three years later, they made Skyrim. And I'm guessing three years later, maybe two years later, they'll have uh, Fallout 4 up. So, that's probably in the 2013 October, uh, November range to uh, quarter one or two, 2014. Um, so, that, if it gets put back in you know, October and November of 2013 or even later, then Fallout 4 will be a next-gen title coming out on the Xbox 720, whatever you want to call it, and the PlayStation 4. Um, so some of the more recent news that's been coming out of Fallout 4 is on uh, Jan in early January, um, Bethesda filed a trademark for a Fallout TV show. Uh, now, what Bethesda does is they're very protective of their uh, copyrighted, their their IPs, all of that stuff. So, I know they already did file a trademark for Fallout TV show and movie um, in 2008 uh, because they just want to make sure they have the rights to do that if they ever want to. But uh, you know, hopefully, this turns into something. Uh, now, what's interesting is a day after that, the Fallout voice actor. Uh, Eric Todd Dellums, uh, who played uh, Three Dog in Fallout, uh, Fallout Three, the uh, radio guy. Uh, a day after that, he mysteriously tweeted, "There could be more Fallout uh, coming. Cross your fingers." I've been given permission to tweet this. So what that essentially means is that Bethesda approved him or gave him that message to tweet out to his followers get kind of a viral marketing uh, system going already to start getting people speculating and thinking about Fallout because there could be an announcement coming. Uh, so what I'm thinking is that Bethesda cannot announce the next Fallout until the next generation systems have been announced. Uh, I have two videos about that, about the Xbox 720 and the PlayStation up already. Go watch it after this. But they... But uh, Sony and Microsoft, uh, they have gag, uh, gag uh, rules up for all the game developers, saying they can't announce next 
generation software or games uh, until they've announced the the you know the systems they'll be running on. So until Sony or Microsoft or both announce their next generation consoles, Bethesda or any other studio for that matter can't announce their games. So uh, we'll have to wait to, for that in February twentieth. Sony is most likely announcing PlayStation Four, and Microsoft I can guarantee you will announce Xbox Seven Twenty. Um, a, a, a weeks after that, within the next month, I'd say. So, and then the last one is the, probably the biggest one, is that there are rumors that it will take place, Fallout 4 will take place in Boston, Massachusetts, uh, and that that someone went onto Reddit uh, a couple months ago and tweeted that he works at MIT, that Bethesda has been going over there to uh, research or their next location, Fallout 4, uh, in Boston. Uh, and that that would make total sense, seeing in Fallout 3, they kind of made a subplot about runaway androids from uh, a place in Massachusetts at MIT called the Institute, uh, a basic, basically a technology-driven you know, organization building androids, regulating them, kind of imprisoning, kind of like the Underground Railroad, or slavery in the South. So uh, it'd be neat to see what comes out of that. So as soon as there's more news about Fallout 4, I promise to put another video up. Uh, so thanks for watching. Subscribe. Uh, like this. Share it with your friends. Follow us on Twitter at Spectrum Topics. Uh, thanks for watching, guys.